All right, gang. So I've been using React Hook Form a lot lately, and I wanted to bring in some external fields. So right here we have this nice text field from Material UI if you want to make your forms look nicer. And I also have this autocomplete field from Algolia that allows me to look up a bunch of uh, addresses and place names. So I wanted to bring those into React Hook Forms, but it's not exactly as simple as just pasting it in and everything continues as normal. So if you don't know so much about React Hook Forms, uh, React Hook Forms works a little bit differently than most form libraries and most forms within React. It uses uncontrolled inputs instead of controlled inputs. Uh, so controlled inputs, uh, you're passing to state every single, every single thing that you enter in here. So every time you type one letter, it's getting passed into state and it's updating the component. But React Hook Form tries to be more efficient and it doesn't, it doesn't track every single uh, key press. So it really only gets the form field whenever you, whenever you submit the form. So uh, working with something like this with uncontrolled inputs and working with controlled inputs from these libraries can be a little bit tricky, but let me show you how to do it. So React Hook Forms has this controller element right here that you'll need to import along with use form. And then with this use form hook, we're also bringing in control right here. So those are the two things you need to get started. And as you can see, I had this text field from uh, Material UI already, but it's not really gonna do anything. If I type in something here, then I press sign up, nothing happens. It doesn't even recognize it as a form. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to wrap this in a controller. So we take the controller and then there's a couple different ways you can do this, but the easiest is using the as attribute. So we're going to write as text field or whatever the field you're wanting. And then you pass in all the normal things that you put in here. So let's say the name is going to be uh, location and then uh, label is going to be location name. This is something you normally pass into uh, the material UI field and when you put it in the controller it'll just pass it down. So basically put in any attributes into this controller and then finally you're going to want to pass control to and put control in there that we get from uh, use form right here. And the control is basically making it a controlled input or making the controlled input into an uncontrolled input so that it, it plays friendly with React Hook Form. And now uh, let's delete this old one and let's type something in here and pop open the console. And yeah, now we get location something, which is what we want. So that's working just fine. And then if you don't pass in defa a default value here, then it's going to complain at you. So let's just put this in right here. Uh, default value is nothing. All right. So this is the way you normally do it, but with React Hook Form 7 or something, whatever new version it is, uh, there's a new way to do it with render props. So I'd actually recommend doing it this way. It's a bit more complicated, but you get more fine-grained control over things. And also, I don't know if this is going to get fixed anytime soon, but there's been a bunch of weird issues that I've been seeing when you use as instead of render. And so, yeah, you saw this weird warning that I got right here in the console. And also I've had some bugs in production where things just would not work if I used as instead of render. So let me show you how I would recommend doing it now. So instead of using as, I would use this render prop right here. So then we're gonna make a function and then we're going to return um, the text field and then close that. And then inside this, oh, we're gonna get the props that we're passing down. So we have the name right here, which we're passing down um, the label. And also we have uh, the traditional things that you'd expect with uh, input field in React, like on change and on blur and these other things that uh, 
you would typically use. So we can pass in these right here, name is equal to name, label is equal to label, or what we can do instead is we could just pass all these down as dot 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 props. So basically copy all the props in here, and instead of just destructuring these and writing them out manually, we can just get all the props and then pass all the props down to this. And when you're using the render prop, you actually have to uh, put this inside here. So these, so these attributes that are specific to the library, you'll need to put inside the render prop instead of outside of it. And as you can see, this works fine. Uh, type something in here and we're not getting a weird error uh, like I saw before. I've been having some weird problems using as instead of render. And if, if you look in the issues inside the GitHub, the maintainer is basically telling you just use render instead of as it fixes all the problems. So yeah, this is why I recommend using render instead of as, but I'm just teaching you both ways just in case uh, you have, you come across some old code using as, or you want to use a previous version. But this is the way I do it with the newest release of React Hook Forms. And so with the render prop, you can actually do some more complicated things as well. So this is obviously a very easy example, but I also wanted to use this places autocomplete that came from Algolia. So let me put this in here instead. And let's save that. Okay, now we have a type and address field and we can just type whatever in here and it'll drop down an autocomplete menu for us. But we need to configure it a little bit more in, in order to actually get it into React Hook Forms. Right now, if you send it, it just appears as blank. So yeah, obviously we need to do a little bit of work to make this work properly. We want to grab specifically the name and the onChange because we want to pass a custom value onto the onChange, which will then get that back up to React Hook Forms. So let's just put in name right here, the name as you'd expect. But for the on change, uh, this isn't supposed to be a places autocomplete tutorial, but they have a custom on change that gives you a suggestion right here. So we're going to pull the suggestion whenever they click on the, the drop down and I think we're going to want to return, uh, or no, we don't want to return. We want to uh, pass to on change, and this is the on change uh, from here. So when we use this, it's going to pass it back up to React Hook Forms, and we're going to want to get suggestion dot name, I believe, and that's going to be the name of the location that we type in here. So let's say, for example, we go to test test valley. I didn't know that was a thing, but now I do. We push that, sign up, and now, yeah, we're getting the name right here. So that's how you would do it with more complicated things like this. You can also get the onBlur function, of, cur of course, and you can pass it to that and do whatever that you want with this. So yeah, finally, at the end of the day, this render prop actually makes things a lot more useful. So yeah, I would just make everything like this and that's how you do it with React Hook Forms. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, but uh, there's a full documentation on the website for controller if you want to see everything possible. I didn't show it in the video, but you can also pass in validation rules like you would normal React Hook Form field. And you can also pass in all these different values with the render prop, on blur value, and all this thing on focus. So if you need a complete reference guide, check the website. It's probably everything you need.